Hello, uh, in this lecture I'm going to be introducing NumPy and some basic ways we can create arrays and manipulate them. Um, I won't be going into as much detail um, in this one because there's a lot of similarities with Pandas and I think you can pick a lot of these um, details up on your own. So I'll suggest you uh, do this reading uh, carefully. Um, there are these uh, SciPy lecture notes. Um, SciPy encompasses NumPy and Matplotlib and some other things. Um, a pretty good reading. Uh, they actually uh, are written by many different authors, right? So I'm not putting just one name. There are a lot of people, uh, different people wrote different chapters. Um, but anyway, so for this one, I want you to read uh, this chapter 1.3.1 on uh, the NumPy array object <clears throat> and the operations you can do with it. But I'm just gonna go over some of those here just to make it more concrete. Um, in general, what we'll do by convention is we'll say import NumPy as NP. And then the main data structure we get from that is the NumPy array. And um, NumPy arrays can be created from lists. So I could say something like um, you know, seven, eight, uh, maybe I'll start at six, six, seven, eight, nine. And I could save that there. <clears throat> That's one way to create them. Um, there's many other ways to create these. Uh, for example, we could be opening up arrays um, and getting a bunch of numbers that, respect, that represent some sort of image. Um, I'm just going to show you a few of the common ones. Um, one of the things we can do is we can say uh, np dot, um, dot zeros, right? If I do zeros, I can say how many zeros I want. <clears throat> I get an array of six zeros, or I could do ones. Maybe I want 10 ones. Um, another common one, which is very similar to the range function that we are familiar with, is numpy dot a range. This stands for um, array uh, range. And so here I can say, well, how many numbers I want. Let's say here I want, uh, you know, eight numbers. <clears throat> I get uh, those values from, uh, from zero to eight. Notice that it's exclusive at the end. Um, if I wanted to, I could have a starting number, right? So this is the start, um, this is the end. So the start is inclusive, the end is exclusive. Um, another thing I can do is I could say, um, let's say I want to go from zero to one. Um, I can specify a third option here, which is called the step. Right, so if I do this right now, I just did zero, but I could say I want to increase, you know, point 0.1 at a time, right? So then I'll get these values, uh, zero, 0 0.1, all the way up to 0 0.9. So I'm starting here, ending here, and then this is my step. So lots of different ways to create these things. Um, we can also slice them, although slicing is going to work a little bit different than it did for lists. So maybe let me just create a, uh, something here to work with. I'm going to go from 6 to 10 and take a look at that. Um, if I want to create a slice from uh, position 2 and beyond, I guess what will that be? 0, 1, 2. So I'm going to get these values here so I can do that. Uh, that works as anticipated. <clears throat> Another thing that we can do um, here, which is actually pretty similar, um, it's actually the same in Python, we just haven't talked about it, is that I have a uh, I have, um, you know, here I can put putting two values. There's actually three values I can put. And when I do that, I have the start, um, the end, and the step. And I, and I can leave any of these three options off. <clears throat> so let me just show you what this looks like. I can, if I want to, uh, I can say I want to start at position one, uh, which is a seven. And, um, you know, I could end at position four, or I guess that's at the end, so I could leave that off. And then the step can say, um, you know, by default, it's one, and that means, well, I want this value, step one, step one, so I get seven, eight, nine. Uh, but I, I could say something like step two. And when I do that, I start at position one. Okay, uh, here means that I keep going forever, and here means I jump two at a time. So that means I'm gonna go seven, uh, jump two to nine, and then I'm done, right? So I do that, I get this seven, nine. Uh, this actually works in Python too, uh, in general on lists. Uh, but what's a little bit strange now is um, is with these arrays, uh, A and B are still sharing some underlying memory. And that means if I change B, I'm also changing A. That's not true with a Python list, right? If I do something like this on a Python list, that means I'm creating a brand new list for B. So, so let me show you what that looks like. So here I have B, and if I say B of, you know, maybe the last value in B equals 100, that changes B, no surprise. Uh, but what's weird is that I also changed A, 
right? These two are locked together. And, um, and so what I can do if I want to decouple them, remember that decoupling is the default behavior uh, with Python lists, it's not here. Uh, I can say something like this, b equals b dot copy. And, um, and this creates a copy of b. And, uh, and so while well, b looks the same, but now if I change that further, right, let's say, say this equals 200, um, I'm changing b, but I'm not changing a anymore, right? Uh, they're two separate objects at this point. Okay, so go do some practice and then we'll come back and we'll talk about um, multi-dimensional arrays and, uh, and we'll talk about how we can use arrays for images.